Hello, my name is Jason Tan, and today I am joined by Jatna Ramirez. She is the director of high school programs at Global Kids, an educational nonprofit focused on educating students on contemporary, international, social, and political issues. Thank you for joining me. To start off, can you please tell me about Global Kids' goals and missions? Sure. Hello, Jason. Thank you for having me. So Global Kids educates, activates, and inspires students from all over the city. Uh, we work with students in all five boroughs and also uh, Washington, D.C. And we work with students mostly from communities that are under uh, resourced, underserved, and students who are underrepresented in the policymaking process. And our work with students focuses on global education, human rights education, and youth leadership development. We're really trying to make sure that um, students, young people feel empowered to be leaders mm -hmm. in their lives and in their communities, both locally and globally. Yes, it is important to get people involved. Can you give me some ways that Global Kids have been actively involved in global issues? Sure. So um, a bulk of our work focuses on the education piece, right? There's yes. nothing you can do about a social justice issue if you don't know about it. So a bulk of our work focuses on helping students explore those issues and making connections between what's happening in their own backyard, in their own communities, and what's happening nationally and internationally as well. And we're a very youth-led organization, so we also are driven by the interests of students. So if students want to talk about income inequality, how gentrification, for instance, may be impacting their lives, how racial inequality or gender inequality or LGBTQ rights affects their everyday lives, then we focus on those issues and we help them make the connection between those issues happening here at home and what's happening outside of the U.S. as well. That's very interesting. Can you please give some specific examples of how Global Kids achieve its missions? Sure. So we work with students and schools during the school day and also in the after school setting. We need interactive, engaging workshops where we really what we do is we facilitate the conversation, right? So we are facilitating the conversation and the learning process with the students. Every time when we start, we want to make sure that students are exemplifying what it means to be a global citizen and being aware of what's happening around them. So we need a session called In the News. Right, so where we talk about, we ask the kids, well, what have you heard on the news recently? And we also share some important news headlines. We also play some games and icebreakers so that um, we're building community with the students. And then we have main activities where the students get to learn about a topic or teach us, right, about their own stories and their own lives and the issues that they find the most pressing in their communities. And then again, that it's a wide range of issues, everything from gender inequality, racial inequality, um, income inequality, and everything through a human rights lens, right? So we ask them questions like, do you think a 16-year-old should be able to vote, right? And they have a lot to say about that. Or do you think that there should be metal detectors in schools? And they have a lot to say about that, right? Our students are really bright and they are full of ideas and, and they're always... They, you know, they're formulating their thoughts and their thinking process, but they're always willing to share and contribute um, solutions to the most pressing issues we face in our society. Through our human rights lens and our policymaking frame, framework, we uh, may be talking about like it's water, a human right, yes. or mm -hmm. it's a privilege, right? It's education. What about at the college level? Is that a human right or is that a privilege? Um, what about healthcare, right? And our students informed by their own life stories and, and, and what they see in their community. They have a lot to share on that and they have a big interest in learning more about those issues, again, in their local and global communities. Thank you for that. That's very insightful. Mm -hmm. The name Global Kids alludes to the popular idea of global citizenship, which can be defined as a person who is conscious of and plays an active role in the betterment of the wider world. With so many crises going on in the U.S., do you think schools should do more to actively promote global citizenship or focus on home? Absolutely. I think schools should do everything they can to make sure that the students are learning about what's happening outside of the U.S. I think mm -hmm. it helps build um, really important leadership skills, critical thinking skills, empathy, right? Um, and so that when students are 
we, we do hope that a lot of our students do end up in positions um, where they can make important decisions and they can shape our society. Um, actually, a lot of our students Either, you know, they, they do end up in working in policy making areas um, and some of our um, alumni have actually run for office and being able to represent communities uh, at the city and state level. And so we want our students to be mindful of how um, everything is connected, right? Our world is more connected than ever. The decisions that we make here at home oftentimes do have a global impact and impact outside of the U.S. from everything that we purchase, right? A cell mm -hmm. phone that we buy, our health, um, public health decisions, like if anything, uh, COVID-19 has shown us how, how interconnected the world is, right? And that's something that's happening abroad. Um, it's, it's going to be connected to many different countries um, and, and even climate change, right? Like what deci the decisions that are made here in the US when it comes to our energy policies are gonna have a global impact. Um, and so we definitely, um, think that students should be learning about um, what's happening around the world as much as possible and not only what's happening at home. I think it's very important that um, Global Kids are empowering the youths to try to get um, more active in the local community and the world too. Yeah, that's really good. What are some ways that high school students can get involved with the Rohingya refugee crisis? So I think the first, the very first um, thing, it's, it's just learning about what's happening there. Yeah. I think unfortunately one of the reasons why the crisis there has gotten as bad as it has, um, and, um, and it has been going on for as long as it has, is that very little is known about it, right? We don't see it in our mainstream um, news cycles, mainstream media, we don't see it as often. Yeah, it as should. We, yeah it's not covered, we don't, um, students are not, not learning about it much in class. And so I think the first thing is learning about it. And mm -hmm. then from there, I think students are really smart and really creative and can come up with really awesome ways to take action. So whether that is um, peer education, so like once they learn about it, teaching other people about it, signing petitions, talking to their elected officials about it, um, raising awareness um, using social media, as you know, young people are really good utilizing social media, right? And it can be yes. a really powerful tool to raise awareness and take action. And yeah, also reaching out to their elected officials and seeing what can be done about it. Um, so I think there's, there's many different things that young people can do. Um, and I think that once they know about the situation, they can use their imagination and their creativity to come up with ways to take action. Definitely. There, there are a lot of ways that high school students can get involved. With the crisis. On a side note, has Global Kids um, discussed the Rohingya refugee crisis? Yeah, so we um, talk about um, immigration um, and um, refugee crisis and, and just all kinds of, of human rights, right, that are um, being bio violated around the world and also how they can take action to make sure that those rights are protected for people. Um, and so when we talk about refugee crisis, I think like the Syrian, cri Syrian refugee crisis is, is better oh, known yes. around the world. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, with Rohingya, um, the Rohingya crisis, it's not as well known. And so we made sure that we are uplifting voices by um, exposing students to um, issues and crises that are happening around the world that they may not know about through um, the mainstream media. Because as we talked about um, just a few seconds ago, it is not uh, covered as much as it should be. Yeah, I think it's really cool that Global Kids um, cover a wide variety of topics. Well, thank you for joining me in this interview, uh, Chatna Ramirez. Thank you. You, thank you, you, you brought a lot of wonderful insight. Sure, Jason. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.